लेक्चर फोर्टी एट ग्रेडियंट डाइवर्जेंस एंड कर्ल नो द डाइवर्जेंस इज वॉट डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ ए वैक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन सो ये इफ यू हैव इन वैक्टर वी विच इज अ फंक्शन वी वन आई प्लस वी टू जे एंड वी थ्री के बी द डिफरेंशियल वैक्टर फंक्शन सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज अ वैक्टर फंक्शन वेर आई एक्स वाई जेड आर दट इज इन कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ वी वन वी टू वी थ्री are the component of v vector v then the divergence of v is denoted by div dot v or we can say del operator dot product of vector and is defined as del of the vector v or so we write div of v that is a divergence of v so divergence is what i del upon del x j del upon del y k del upon del z and the vector v Here v1, v2, v3 are the 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 component of the vector v. So so when we 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 take dot 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 product, so i dot i we get one. So del upon del x of v1 plus del upon del y of v2, j dot d, j is one. And similarly del upon del z of v3 and k dot k is one. So here we have to note that if we operate that del operator on the vector quantity. so we get a scalar quantity means the divergence of vector function is a scalar function so please remember the divergence of a vector function is a scalar function and the previous in the case of gradient gradient is a scalar function uh, gradient of a scalar function is a vector function here you have to note it that if v denotes the velocity of the fluid in a medium suppose we can say v v is a what vector point function and we say is a velocity in the fluid medium and thus if divergence of that v vector is zero it means the fluid is said to be incompressible and the second thing in electromagnetic mag magnetic theory if divergence of v is zero then we can say vector field v is said to be solenoidal right So please remember, if divergence of a vector is zero, so we can say the field is solenoidal, or in the case of fluid, we can say the fluid is in incompressible. Now we find the divergence of a function f x y, which is a vector function x y square i two x square y z j and minus three y square y z square k at point this. So we have to find the divergence. so if you remember divergence is what is an divergence of f that is the del operator dot with the vector function f so i del upon del x j del upon del y and k del upon del z dot the vector function f that is x y square i 2x square y z j and minus 3 y z square k. Now we take the dot dot product, and as we know, i dot i is one. So del upon del x of x y square j dot j, that is del upon del y of Two <clears throat> x square y z and del upon del z of minus three y z square. We take the partial derivative, so we get partial derivative of x y square. We get y square with respect to y of that function, that is two x square y z. So treating x and y, x and z is a constant, so we write two x square z plus Sorry, we get a negative sign. That is partial derivative of this is we write minus six y z. So this is what this is a divergence of f. So here we get the scalar function. If we take the divergence of a vector uh, del operator of a vector quantity, or we say divergence of a vector is what is a scalar quantity. And now we have to find At point at the given point that is one zero two, so divergence of f we get 
1 that is 0 plus 2 into 1 into 2 minus 6 into 0 we get 0 so here we get 4 now the curl of a vector point function so sub, so the curl or sometimes say rotation is the differential vector point function say v which is v1 i plus v2 j plus v3 k is denoted by curl of vector v or we write the tail operator cross product of vector v and is defined as the del cross v or say curl of vector v that is i del upon del x plus j del upon del y plus k del upon del z cross product of v1 i plus v2 j plus v3 k so here we have a cross product so that is easily solved by the help of determinant so we write i j k and del upon del x del upon del y del upon del z and the component of v that is v1 v2 v3 so on expanding that determinant we can write in that way so here we obtain a vector so you have to note that the curl of a vector function is a vector function and the second point if the curl of the vector function is zero then we say the vector that vector v is said to be irrotational vector so here you have to note that we when we operate that operate that uh, vector vector differential operator on the scalar quantity so we get a vector quantity and this is what this is this is the gradient of phi when that operator we operate on vector quantity so we get a scalar quantity and this is what this is the divergence that's called divergence of v and when that operator is cross product with the vector quantity so we get a vector quantity and that is what this is called curl of the vector v so you have to remember these three points that is divergence gradient divergence and curl in the example we have given a vector v that is x square z i 2 y cube z square j and plus x is x y square z k then we have to find the curl of that vector at that point so as we know the curl of the curl of v vector v is what del cross vector v so in that case we use the determinant that is i j and k del upon del x del upon del y and del upon del z and now write the component of the vector v this is the component of i that is x square z 2 y cube z square and the component of k is x y square z now we just simplify or expand that determinant so we write i the partial derivative of this with respect to y so we get 2x y z minus the partial derivative of this function with respect to z so here we get minus 4 y cube z now take j so the partial derivative of this with respect to x we get y square z minus the partial derivative of this with respect to z so we get x square plus the vector k and the vector k the partial derivative of that function with respect to y which is 0 minus the partial derivative with respect to x we get 0 now we write we take a simplify that equation so we write i 2xyz plus 4y cube z and minus j y square z 
minus x square now this is what this is the curl of the vector function and now we have to find the curl of v vector v at the given point and the point is what 1 minus 1 and 1 so the curl of v vector is 1 1 we get 2 plus 4 so we write 6 i and sorry that is negative sign so we get minus 2 that is minus 2 and this is again minus so we write minus 6 i and 1 minus 1 this becomes 0 so we get minus 6 i so this is the curl of vector given function vector function at point 1 minus 1 so in that way we find the curl of the vector quantity